Hi and welcome to another DCG tutorial. Today we're working on question A4 from section A of the 2013 paper. So this is a screw lines question. So again, let's read through the question. So lasers are often used in crime scene investigation to determine the trajectory, i.e. flight path, of bullets. In the drawing on the right, two bullet paths are represented in the lines A, B and C, D. So part A, uh, using geometric constructions, determine if the bullets are fired uh, from the same location by establishing if the lines are skew lines or intersecting lines. So you just tick the box. Draw a line joining points A and C and determine the true length of that line. So first part, if they ask you to determine if they're skew lines or intersecting lines, one way to do it is if they were crossing in the elevation and also crossing in the plan, you could project down where they cross from the elevation of the plan and if they're directly above each other then they're definitely intersecting lines but in this case sir, we don't have um, we do not have them crossing so they kind of give you a clue in the question so determine the bullets are fired from the same location by establishing if they're skew lines or intersecting lines so we know they're skew lines or sorry we don't know they're intersecting lines because of they're not crossing so to determine if they're shot from the same point project the elevation back to figure out if they are come from the same point so we project them back there and project that angle back here it was going to give us a point so let's just call that point so we have a b and c d so this is point e Right, that's point E. So if we bring point E down to the plan, and if we repeat the process in plan, and if they end up intersecting at the same point, then they're definitely fired. So AB should join up over here on the E line. But they are not, they are joining up here. So therefore they are not intersecting lines. They will not intersect and they will also not fire from the same point. So therefore they are definitely skew lines. So you can put your tick in the box. Now draw a line joining points A and C and determine the true length of that line. Now I'm going to draw from the plan. It doesn't matter. You could do it from the elevation as well. Let's make your room over here, but it doesn't make any odds. So let's put that in with a certain color here. So let's go with blue. So from A to C. Okay, so join A back to C. We need the true length of that line. So to get a true length of a line in your elevation or plan, if they're parallel to the XY line in one of the views, there'll be a true length in the next view or the opposite view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Draw a line up from C parallel to the XY line. I'm going to rotate point A. Around. Find that length, so we'll call this. Rotate that around. And that would be where point A is now. Project that up to the elevation. The height of it is going to remain the same. The height of it from the XY line, so just project that straight across. So we're finding this new position for A, so this is where A is now. We can call it A1 if you want. So if that's point A1, and it was the line was parallel to the XY line here in plan. If I join A1 back to C, I will find true length of that line. So join C in the elevation back to point A1. And that's our true length. So by rotating it around so that it was parallel to the XY line, and finding that point that made it parallel to the XY, in this case A, find it again in the elevation, join it back to C, that gave you your true length. 
So we can just indicate that. And that is your screw lines question done, short questions done. So I hope that helps. If it did, leave a like. And if you'd like to see certain questions done, a uh, certain topic, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, thank you and good luck.